In the meantime, Sierra Leone has held a minute of silence for the victims earlier on Wednesday. The country is observing a week of national mourning. Emergency response teams are still racing to dig out any possible survivors. Many are still trapped beneath mud and rubble. But with every hour that passes, the chances of finding survivors diminishes. For the residents of Sierra Leone, the mourning period is a very stark reminder of the disaster. I'm glad that the government approved this one-minute silence for the condolences of the people who've died in this country as we lost many people in this country, more than have ever been in this country in such a short period of time. I don't feel good actually about this one-minute silence because um, if you can think the reason why this one-minute silence happened is like is to remembering our past um, people that we have lost in this um, incident that happens these two days. Let's get you more now on the search and rescue operation that's ongoing in the country. A little earlier on, I spoke to Abu Bakr Tarawale. He's the head of communications for the Red Cross in Sierra Leone. Well, um, there, there is no... The search continues, actually, but nobody was found alive yesterday. Except a baby that was found the, the, the day before yesterday on the, on the beach. A, a young baby of a, believed to be months old was found alive amid corpses of adults in the west part of the town. But nobody was found alive yesterday.